Welcome back to my channel. It's Mary here from Layers of Chic. So today's video is on organizing and decluttering my makeup collection. So this is basically pretty much everything that I had. A lot of this had just, had just been like sitting in these caboodles boxes and sitting in my jar and I didn't have everything like out in the open so I couldn't even see what I had. So today's goal is to organize everything into um, three acrylic makeup organizer containers. So yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot going on. I'm feeling very overwhelmed right now. Um, I'm, first thing I'm doing is actually working on taking new stuff out of the packaging so that it will save space. Um, and then I'm organizing everything by type before I then put it into the acrylic organizers. What is this? Oh, this is, um, what? I, don't, I don't understand what this is, but I think it's an eye product. So I'm just gonna put it with that. The goal is that these will be my most used and then everything else is gonna go, right? I have a system now. I don't know, I have like a lip, I have like a lipstick hoarding problem. Another highlight stick. Ooh, that would've been good for travel. I, I barely even use lip pencils. I'm like too lazy, you know? I've got a lot for every color. Look at all my highlighters. I'm also a highlighter boy. Yes, they are all highlighters. You thought it was over, but it's not. Dude, how ridiculous is this? Isn't it crazy? That's why I got that because I was like, I need that. But that's why the idea is to try everything versus keeping everything in jars and never trying it. I have, like, I have a problem. Oh, I forgot my, my, my Marc Jacobs eye palette. I love this palette. Look, I used it so much. That's like a lot for me because considering how many palettes I have. So I'm going to start with this organizer, um, this is what I use every day that's on my vanity. So this is going to be the essentials. Um, and I think I got this, I want to say at the container store, but like you guys, you guys can find stuff like this like basically everywhere now. They have a ton of acrylic organizers on Amazon. The great thing about this one is that it's stackable, so you can kind of build your own. So for example, I could get more of these and make it higher. They have different options in terms of like a bigger one, a divided one, and then I like this top one kind of for like my everyday makeup. And I'm gonna start with the lipsticks because I have a lot of them. And the first order of business is to pick, how many are in here? 10, 10 daily lipsticks to put in my daily lipstick container. Look at all this makeup, like, this is all my makeup. I know, this is why I'm like, I need to do this, honey. Take a picture, send it to your mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's just put everything in five grand first. This is Dior, definitely not throwing this out. All right, so now I have to pick what I use daily. I don't even know where to start. Are these the same? Yep, I was trying to tell the difference between them, and guess what, there's no difference because they're the same. I'll do a red. Also, why do I always all bite on the damn organizing my makeup? I don't make sense. This is my Essentials makeup holder, as I mentioned before. So I've already picked out my 10 lipsticks. Um, and then usually the top is kind of like what I use every day. So I'm gonna put like my foundations here, um, primers, some of the brushes that I use. This is the contour stick that I use when I am feeling fancy enough to contour. Because I broke my favorite Tarte bronzer today, the, cho the chocolate matte one that smells like chocolate. Um, it like was sitting on top here and when I was moving this to the living room, it like broke and like completely shattered. Um, so I'm looking for a new bronzer to use. So 
So now we're doing highlighters, blushes, all that good stuff. So here I've got all of my foundations, concealers, and setting sprays. And then I also have my setting powder. And then these ones are um, primers. So makeup primers, or like some days when I don't like do foundation, I'll just do like this, for example. And then I also went ahead and put my lip balms here as well. This is like all of my eyeliners. So for eyeliners, I didn't really edit because I kind of like to do like different colored eyeliners. So I kind of kept all of them here because I kind of changed it up based on my, the outfit I'm wearing that day. Mind, I put just two lip pencils because I don't use lip pencils that much. So I just did like a nude one and like a red one. I put my eyebrow pencil. This, uh, this brush I use like basically only for my eyebrows to set my eyebrows. And then this is probably like my favorite section because I love highlighters. These liquid highlighters from Bare Minerals are like amazing. I also have this like bronzing and highlighting stick duo that I'm excited to try. This is like just like a daily powder. So I use this basically when I don't use foundation and I just do like a primer and a powder. Okay, and then the second jar are basically more highlighters as well as eyeshadow palettes. And then these are basically more highlighters. So as you guys can tell, I am like a highlighter addict. I just like freaking love highlighters because I just feel like they make everything look better. And the last layer are basically like really large palettes. So these are like bigger palettes, my Urban Decay long palette. These are also two like longer palettes that don't fit on the second layer. And then these are like my mini um, like liquid eyeshadows as well as glittery eyeshadows. This is definitely more manageable than it was before. I feel like I can see everything and I'm pretty excited to do my makeup tomorrow. Time to organize this. I'm actually really excited about this because as you can see, I have a lot of lipsticks. So yeah, let's do it. This is great, I love this. So I'm putting the Mary Kay ones in now and I'm doing the light ones on top and then the darker ones on the bottom. All right, let me look for one that's just on its own. Oh, there we go, perfect. All right, so now I'm going to fill these, and I think these would be really great for like smaller um, highlighting palettes, like smaller eyeshadow things. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also finish organizing this so this is basically the skincare and makeup that I'm going to try in the future so on top I basically put off like the taller products so there's like some makeup products makeup primers and then a bunch of like skincare products and then the second jar is basically all of my lip balms that I don't use every day and then also like false lashes which obviously I don't use every day so it's like the perfect place for them the third jar are mascaras that are new that I'm gonna try in the future and then also some primers as well that I haven't gotten around to using yet. This one are like my extra palettes or new palettes that I haven't used yet. And then I also have a spare jar for now, which is awesome. It's awesome to have extra space. So this will probably fill up pretty quickly. And then the last section are just extra face creams that I haven't gone around to using either. Both of these are actually from Amazon by a brand called Number Two. 
um, and but I'll make sure to link it in the video so you guys have it. Um, but yeah, these are both really great. This holds more than you think. When I first got it, I didn't think it could hold everything, but like as you can see, I actually have extra. My original plan was just for makeup, but I actually ended up like having extra space, so I put a bunch of skincare as well. Um, because you do have this top part that you can cover it. But I obviously like it like this so you can put more stuff. So yeah, this holds a ton of stuff. Yay! Feeling pretty organized now. Definitely more than before. Hope you guys enjoyed this makeup organization video. If you guys have any questions about either of these two organizers, just let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. I'm pretty tired, so...